Hi, this is Rick, WB3BIQ, with a short demo of the SOTA SOTA antenna tuner from QRP Kits, uh, demonstrating how well it works on three bands, and then comparing it to the four state QRP Club tuner. So we'll start by showing how sensitive this tuner really is on 40 meters. And in tune mode, for these three tests, I was only using a 63 foot long wire, and the counterpoise was only four feet long. And you can see how well this uh, soda tuner really does work. Plus, it's so small. This is on the 20 meter band. So you can see there we could get it down to uh, one to one very easily with uh, the LED going completely out. And now we're on 17 meters. Okay, here we are again. This time we're set up for the uh, four state QRP group tuner to make the comparison. We are on 40 meters right now using the same 63 foot long wire antenna and the four foot counterpoise. The nice part about this tuner is it has also an inductance selection switch. So if I just move it a little bit, you'll be able to see the difference. So the inductance switch is really important. So if we um, are going to uh, tune in a signal, we tune for maximum signal strength using the capacitance control here for the transceiver and then the antenna. You can peek that as well. On the output, now we'll switch to the transmitter input. The nice part about this tuner is that it has both forward and reverse uh, reflected power. So for example, you want to tune it so that you have the red light go out, which is your reflected power, and it will also show you at the same time when that is at minimum uh, the strongest green light illumination to show you a maximum power output. So it's nice the way these two LEDs work uh, together. All right, let's see what we can do to uh, get rid of the SWR and get it to the lowest possible value. So you can see that whenever we have the uh, lowest SWR, we also have the greatest output and the green light is fully illuminated. So that was the 40 meter test. Okay, here we are on 20 meter band. And uh, we'll peak the uh, signal for the maximum strength.
And I've already pre-selected the best inductance. Now we'll tune the antenna tuner for the transmit signal. So there we are for the uh, lowest SWR on 20 meter band. And here we are on the 17 meter band. Right now there's uh, no activity on 17 meters, but um, the uh, antenna tuner works the same way. And you can see that my output is lower on this band. So uh, the antenna tuners seem to work uh, pretty much the same, even with a very short counterpoise. Uh, the advantage is that I have more selectivity with the inductance on this tuner. And I also have uh, two trim pots or two capacitors, uh, one that I can match the transceiver circuit as well as the antenna uh, inductance. So uh, I also like the uh, twin LEDs to show my uh, maximum output on the green LED as well as the minimum SWR on the red one. So I hope you enjoyed this um, video demo and I think both tuners uh, would be a very good investment. 73s from Rick, WB3BIQ.